Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tie. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tie out here at the front gate of Canada's Wonderland during Halloween on. And as you can see, it is a very, very, very crowded front gate. Very crowded. Uh, the line to buy tickets is uh, really, really long as well. Uh, so this is, this is uh, going to take a little bit to get in. But after I get in, I will show you guys everything around here uh, at, the, at uh, Halloween Haunt and give you a little bit of a uh, review. All kinds of monsters and creepy things uh, hanging out around the, uh, uh, the graveyard here, out right by Front Gate. Uh, awesome, creepy music playing throughout. Sneaking up on people from time to time. And one already got me today. Love this song. Man, what do you think he did to deserve that? All kinds of creepy colors over here on the fountain, green, blue, purple, and then of course all the uh, lampposts are shaded red, uh, and additional lights here on International Street, uh, uh, just on the buildings here. And perfect to light up that skeleton. Well, now I am very thankful uh, that I came this week with all these uh, jack-o'-lanterns over, the, uh, over the pathway, the entrance here, the action zone. This area looks really, really awesome. I love it. Lasers through the fog makes everything awesome. And not really extra creepy, but just kind of extra atmospheric. And just heading through the second scare zone of the night here, Ghostly Pines. And, uh, yeah, they got some characters around here. And then they got a, uh, licensed patio over here. Uh, one of the, uh, few areas where you can actually drink during Halloween Haunt, uh, uh, based on my understanding, uh, you are not allowed to walk around with your beer during this event. Uh, and they've got live music, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, just right out by Backlot Cafe. Ooh, another character. Fun times. I don't think I even noticed these tombstones earlier today, but uh, I've got more of them. Cool. So Action Zone is uh, a bit of a safe zone, if you will, uh, from most of the haunted stuff. Uh, there's only the one show in here and uh, Ghostly Pines, I believe. Uh, and But they, they still have, you know, some decorations up here. Uh, some of the rides over here are not operating either. Uh, I believe Time Warp is closed, uh, as well as Swing of the Century uh, and the Antique Carousel, just, you know, because they're not as popular. Ooh, Devil Circus is... I, I don't know if it's still going... Yeah, it's still going on, uh, but I'm going to check it out uh, later on in the night uh, just to make sure to show you guys the full show. So I'm not sure if uh, any of you guys will agree with me on this or not, but I think that it would be really, really cool and creepy uh, if they somehow managed to get the uh, antique carousel. Uh, just, just run it during haunt, but don't have it be open uh, and don't have anybody there like operating the ride. You know, just have like somebody watching the ride to make sure that nobody gets hurt around it. But uh, you know, hidden or, or something, and just have you know the music playing like some slowed down version of uh, the carousel music playing and just have it going throughout the night. I don't know. 
that, that's just me. I think that would be really cool, but I don't know if they could make it work, and I don't know if anybody agrees with me or not. Let me know. All right, guys, I had to turn the brightness uh, up here quite a bit in order to make out uh, Yukon Striker, but it's just because uh, I have something really scary to tell you guys. Yukon Striker, it's not going to be open on time. They're behind schedule. It's the worst thing ever. It's so scary. Just kidding. All right, heading into the third scare zone here. And uh, lots of bright lights. But uh, still very, very dark in here overall. Uh, so this is the new one for this year, Wicked Hollow. Hello. Hello. Hey. I was going to say you're And uh, <laughs> I have to say, uh, I love this scare zone. Uh, for one of the reasons, uh, I'll get more into this at the end of the night, but 3D sets, they are awesome. <laughs> and just all kinds of people being really, really freaked out by the pixies and fairies and all sorts of other crazy, creepy characters. But yeah, 3D sets. Not something that uh, we see a lot here at the scare zones at Wonderland for some reason. Woohoo! This area looks even better at night. Seriously, it is uh, quite a busy night here uh, from what I can tell. So far, um, so, you know, it's still a good night. I'm gonna check out all the scare zones and then try to get through the mazes just because I can actually show you guys the uh, scare zones. Can't do that with the mazes. scared. <laughs> so these uh, little pumpkin statue things that are set up here uh, across from Lumberjack, uh, they light up at night. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so over here next to uh, Roadside Chicken, uh, I showed off this uh, beer stand before. Uh, now it is actually open, so I guess it's only open uh, during Haunt. Uh, and then they've got like these uh, little space heater things uh, here uh, in the uh, beer jail, as it were. So just kind of interesting. <laughs> more lasers, more lights, and more lines. Yep, this uh, line for uh, Spirit Manor goes all the way back there. Uh, or maybe it's for corn stalkers. I don't know which. Maybe both. Yeah, so I know that you guys can't see uh, too well over here. And honestly, I can't either. I am in Kidsville waiting for Spirit Manor and uh, corn stalkers. Uh, yeah, right, right in front of uh, Flying Eagles. Uh, I've never seen the line quite this long before, but of course, uh, Action Theater, aka Spirit Manor, used to have its own queue, and uh, it does not anymore. No, it just has that uh, nice pathway that I showed off uh, in the Camp Spooky video, or that I will show off, you know, depending on you know which of these videos gets uploaded first. 
But anyway, I I'll uh, give you my review so once I uh, so get out of these two mazes. Might be. I don't think they have anything better. Quick review of Cornstalkers and uh, Spirit Manor. So Spirit Manor, awesome as usual. I absolutely love the atmosphere in there. Uh, not a whole lot of scares, but uh, but still really, really good. I, 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 I love it. Uh, Cornstalkers, it's always been kind of bottom of the barrel for me, and it's kind of still down there. Uh, I did see some improvements. Uh, a couple of the uh, scarecrows uh, were really, really good at uh, staying still. Um, but uh, overall, there are not enough scare actors uh, or scare actors and uh, not enough fog. I think if there was more fog, it would be harder to see where the uh, scarecrows were, uh, which would help. Uh, but yeah, that's just my quick review of these two. To head back through trick or treat in order to get out of here. It's literally the only way during the day, but still kind of creepy here at night. Mini tambourine. And, uh, yep, the cage. Who knows what uh, lived in there before. Huh, not a lot of characters. Or maybe they're just all kind of scaring other people. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorite guys. And this here, then he has scissors. To, uh... <laughs> oh man, I love these guys. Um... Yep. Well, that's uh, that's about it for Carnival. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see things. Uh, I know it is incredibly dark, um, and I'm gonna do my best to uh, brighten things up. <laughs> So the uh, single spotlight here on the mountain uh, has been a staple here for uh, quite a few years. Uh, one thing that I have always uh, really, really wanted the park to do is you know, have some sort of uh, show on the mountain during Haunt. I know they've got the lights on it and everything, but like an actual, you know, Starlight Spectacular style show on the mountain. I would really love that. And hopefully they at least do that for uh, Winterfest next year. That'd be really, really cool. But, you know, I mean, with the temperature so low, I don't know how all that would work out. Ah, my favorite ogre. <laughs> All right, final scare zone of the night. And here we have the big. 
know. Uh, kind of a weird theme. Uh, just around, you know, the... Uh, uh, I don't know what era it is, but you know, around about the time when uh, the plague was affecting a bunch of people. Uh, the Black Plague, I think. Um, so, you know, all kinds of uh, creepy, plague-infested creatures here. Uh, and as I mentioned during the daytime video, you know, they got the bodies here. Uh, really cool sets, um, but yeah, this is this is really uh, what I was talking about with Wicked Hollow. Uh, I like the uh, I like the full 3D sets uh, better. The ones where you, they they look good from any angle. These ones, they're they're half. They are half sets, and it it bothers me. You know, I mean, you just step right back here. You're just like, oh, that's the back of this building. And it just, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it as much. So, yep, that's about it for uh, this scare zone. There's the jerk up there. And down here is the target. And people have to stand in the yellow line. <laughs> hey, buddy! You are the world champion tonight. Target is that big, and you are six miles away from the target. Get some glasses. <laughs> or maybe you need some binoculars. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, buddy, you stink. <laughs> Come on, change your diapers. <laughs> Buy some cologne. Uh. Oh, you look like something I draw with my left hand. <laughs> hey! Did you pull that? <laughs> the guy totally threw a ball at the jerk and it did not hit him. Hey! That guy, yeah, yeah, you fired! Get away! You can't do that! Oh, just put two dollars in the box. And here is the daytime silent disco uh, with all the headphones all lit up. Uh, this looks really, really awesome. Uh, if it's free, I will try it out. If it costs money, I probably will not because I don't feel like really making that much of a fool of myself. But that's just me. So the Vampire Disco is actually a really, really cool thing. It is free, uh, there's no, uh, you, you get to switch between two channels, uh, so the blue channel is whatever the DJs are playing, and the red channel is uh, rock music, uh, and you know, you can also obviously adjust the volume uh, for your individual headphones, uh, and they, uh, you, you can stay in here for as long as you'd like, once you're done, you just hand your headphones back, they clean them off and uh, give them to the next person to uh, to come on in. So yeah, really, really fun. And of course, they got the bar in here. So if you just want to, uh, you know, have a dance party, just come on by, stay for as long as you'd like. I had fun, but uh, you know, I only stayed in there for a little bit because I'm not that big of a dancer. <laughs> Forest of Fear and uh, Bloodshed, both pretty middle of the road uh, uh, mazes. They're not bad, but they're not great. Uh, I believe this is a new location for Forest of Fear. Uh, I like it over here. It, it blends pretty well with Bloodshed. Uh, you know, they're, they're fine. No, nothing to write home about, but uh, they're fine. got me before. Being on rollerblades, he can uh, come up on you pretty quickly. I forgot about the shaky lady here. I feel like she used to shake more though. Uh, jack o' lanterns. All kinds of fun. There's a guy hiding in the bushes here. Smiling. Just smiling and having fun. 
So The Ruins and Blackout, uh, another quick review. Uh, the Ruins, I really, really love. Like, the atmosphere in there is absolutely incredible. Uh, it just, it, it, it feels so professionally done. Um, it is, of course. Um, Blackout, a great concept. I love it. Uh, I love the ending bit, uh, but the ending does kind of kill capacity. Uh, I think they do have multiple uh, exits for it. I'm not quite sure, um, but even still, uh, the line takes a really long time. The ruins, however, I have to say, uh, this year they have a new flashlight system, so there aren't as many lights in the maze. Uh, instead, then you're kind of like going through and, uh, uh, you know, one in three people gets a flashlight in order to uh, light the way. So I, I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Zombies 4D, of course, is uh, all kinds of fun, but they do close off the line early uh, just due to the popularity of the ride, I believe. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, I did not get on it this year, but I always love it. It's, uh, it's a great experience. Uh, is it better than regular Guardian? I don't know. Up, up to you. It's, it's about the same for me. Sci-Fi House! I absolutely loved this maze in its first season. Ever since, it's been going downhill, downhill, downhill. Uh, and this year, it's, it's the worst it's ever been, in my opinion. It, it was too brightly lit so that you could actually see the ceiling, which, I mean, it's in a, like, tent-style thing. So it just it ruins the atmosphere. I love the idea of this maze. Uh, classic science fiction, you know, 1950s TV sci-fi films uh, awesome awesome but uh they, they just they don't execute it very well even most of the monsters that are in there they they don't relate to the theme yeah this one is the bottom of the list at, at this point, uh, the crypt out here right by leviathan uh, this maze is the new one for this year, and it is absolutely incredible. I love it. I mean, all the recent mazes that uh, Wonderland has been putting together have been really, really good. Uh, my one complaint about this one is that the uh, uh, the stone walls are clearly not stone. They're, they're plastic. Uh, you can't really tell by looking at them, but by touch, like, it, it it's... It's just kind of sad and it kind of ruins the atmosphere to me. The the bones and things that they've got in there, those feel real. So that's cool. Uh, I might be the only person who actually like feels the walls and stuff, but uh, <laughs> regardless, uh, yeah, that's, that's the one thing that I, uh, negative that I have to say about this. Other than that, really, really great. I love it. I want it to come back next year. So finally we have uh, Code Red over here uh, right next to the front gate. Uh, and surprisingly, I really like this one. Uh, the atmosphere isn't great. Uh, like the storyline is like it, it, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, clearly, it's very like military themed. Uh, but they embrace that with the outside of uh, uh, the, the building here. I mean, it is a uh, you know steel shed, so it totally makes sense that it's all military themed. Uh, yeah, be better than, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, I like it better than when it was the Asylum, and definitely better than when it was going through that weird phase of, is it the Asylum or is it Code Red? Uh, so fully embraced the military theme, and I got a couple good scares out of it. So overall, yeah, pretty good. Before I forget and do my final uh, sign-off, uh, which I already recorded, but whatever, I'm putting this before that. Uh, just wanted to say, uh, I do like that the park has actually been doing some uh, proper cues for uh, some of the mazes. So this year then, they were able to put up uh, stanchions with, uh, with ropes attached to them, uh, just to better guide people on where to stand, and even had some kind of, you know, like, uh, zigzag patterns out in front of the trip. So that was really, really cool. Uh, I love it. It's so much better than the old way where you just have to figure out where to stand. And it's just, I mean, they still have the person at the end of the line holding the sign, but you know, it still works out really, really well. 
So, final thoughts of the night here at uh, Halloween Haunt 2018. Uh, really, really great event. Uh, I, I always love Haunt. Uh, uh, kind of interesting that this year they've decided to do more uh, double lines. Uh, so, basically, you wait in one line for uh, for one house and then immediately get into uh, the, the house after. Uh, they kind of started that with the ruins and blackout. I, I believe that was uh, Forest of Fear that was prepared, prepared with it. Uh, but uh, they, they've just continued to do that. Because um, now you have uh, the crypt and sci-fi house are together. Uh, and uh, Spirit Manor and uh, Corn Stalkers and then Forest of Fear and Bloodshed. So all of those together, uh, meaning that uh, you kind of still have to wait in two lines, but you only have to get into line once. Uh, so yeah, just, been... <laughs> just a quick little review. Hi! Hi! Alice! Alice! Cool! Good to meet you! Good to meet you, Mr. Video Man! You wanna be friends? Sure! Yay! <laughs> awesome! I just made friends with Alice here. Uh, so yeah, great event. I loved it. Um, and uh, <laughs> I always love the interactions with the monsters there. Uh, so yeah, fun times. <laughs> Top house is probably the crypt, to be quite honest. Uh, followed by Spirit Manor, the ruins. Uh, and, yeah, somewhere around the middle. Uh, let's see, Blackout, Force of Fear. Um, bloodshed and uh, corn stalkers. Then sci-fi house, sci-fi house. And, uh, I, I miss the old sci-fi house. But, I think it's good. but anyway, that'll do it for uh, Halloween Haunt 2018. So until next time, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.